welcome back to my channel guys thank you so much for subscribing if you haven't subscribed what are you waiting for stay tuned hi guys welcome back to my channel so today i'll be making cinnamon roll it's really delicious so first i'm gonna have my dry ingredients i have some flour here I have some brown sugar and some granulated sugar. I'm gonna have that. I have some salt and baking powder here. And I have some cinnamon powder, I'm gonna add that. I have a pack of instant yeast, I'm gonna have that too. And I'm also going to add a pinch of nut and egg to it. And I'm going to combine everything together. I'm just going to put that aside. Here I have some old milk. This is the wet ingredients. I'm gonna pop this in the microwave. You don't want your milk to be cold because you don't want to kill the yeast, all right? So I'm gonna add some butter into it. Gonna add a egg. I'm adding some vanilla. We're just gonna combine everything together. So we use some room temperature unsalted butter. So you wanna make sure it's mixed properly. So now I'm gonna add my wet ingredients into my dry ingredients. Now we're gonna combine everything together. Now I'm gonna use my spatula. Now we're gonna make our dough into a ball. Okay, so on a clean surface, you can also do this, all right? So now I'm just gonna sprinkle a little flour. Just allow our dough not to stick. Spread that out. So now we're just going to place it on the countertop like that. What I'm going to do now, just going to put a little flour over it. Like that. And we're going to roll it in. a little more flour and we're just gonna roll it in until it's not sticking anymore so we just do this for like 10 times fold it in
So here I have a bowl. I'm just going to oil it. We're going to make sure this is properly oiled. So we're just going to place our dough into this, into a warm place for two hours. It's a little work, but trust me guys, it's worth it. It's the best cinnamon roll you'll ever have. It's really delicious. So now I'm just going to place my dough in there. We're just gonna cover that as well you can preheat your oven you can leave this in the oven for 30 minutes with a damp dish towel over it or you can leave it in your kitchen in your cupboard for two hours that's what I always do and it works perfect so we're just gonna leave this to sit for two hours I'm gonna make my filling for my cinnamon roll I'm gonna have some sugar I believe in all the ingredients on the screen all right you can add more sugar if you want so I'm adding some brown sugar and I'm adding some granulated sugar and some cinnamon powder I'm gonna mix everything together okay so this is my dough after two hours I'm just going to show you what it looks like. Look at this. Lovely. All right, so on a clean surface, I'm going to add some flour. So now we're just going to roll our dough out. reason why I put the oil in is not to have my dough stick to the bottom see it's not sticking so I'm gonna remove it look at that I'm gonna sprinkle a little on top I'm gonna roll it. So this is great. So what I'm gonna do now, I have some room temperature, but I'm gonna use my spatula and I'm just gonna add that. Now I'm gonna have my nice little topping for this. You can use a knife to do this as well. So I'm just gonna sprinkle this over. You can add more sugar if you want or whatever, cinnamon, whichever. Oh, this smells so good. Ooh. Perfect with some tea, some milk, you name it. So at this time you want to make sure your baking tin, it's already buttered and stuff. Alright, so now we're just gonna roll. You wanna make sure you roll it very tight. Very tight. Take your time and roll it. So we're gonna use a very sharp knife to cut this. Take your time. That knife is not as sharp as I thought it was. But if you have a sharp knife, you can use it. Now we're gonna place them in our baking tray. I'm gonna use my hand just to make the shape 
the shape because the, the piece that cut out ruined its shape so I'm gonna use my hand to form it okay the knife is working <laughs> all right so look at that so use your hand to just shape that up Okay, sorry guys, I didn't show you how I placed them, but you want to make sure they're not close to each other. Now I'm gonna make my glaze for my cinnamon roll. I have some powder sugar here. I'm just gonna add that in. I'm gonna add some cream cheese to this some cream cheese gonna add some vanilla and I'm also gonna add some lemon juice I'm gonna add some old milk you can use any milk that you want and we're just gonna whisk this together This is all you'd want it, nice and thick. Look at that. Beautiful. And it tastes delicious. Lovely. So this is after 40 minutes into the oven. So I did go ahead and damp a dishcloth and cover it before I put it into the oven, all right? So now I'm gonna show you, they're supposed to be very pumped. Look at that nice very nice so i'm gonna leave this for another 10 minutes before i pop it in the oven to bake at 350 degrees for 30 minutes so if you have it in the oven after 20 to 25 minutes and then the tops get very dark what you'll do is place a foil paper over it and just add it in the oven for the additional time look how lovely this is beautiful so now i'm going to set my oven and then we're going to pop it in the oven to bake So it's out of the oven now so after 20 minutes i did go ahead and place fire up over it because i didn't want it to be too dark beautiful so this is exactly how i want it so now i have my glaze i'm just going to place it over it like this video you can go ahead and check out my cornmeal pudding and leave a comment and let me know what you like to eat your cinnamon roll with and please like the video, it helps with my algorithm. So please like, share, and subscribe. Place it over like that. Look at that, it's delicious. And if you had made cinnamon roll, let me know how you prepare it. Look how delicious this looks. So I'm gonna leave this to cool for an hour. And then I will show you after it's cool look at that delicious so this is after an hour and it's cool look at all that goodness wow so i'm gonna try one delicious and just cut into this goodness Guys, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Beautiful. Look at this goodness. Look at this delicious, soft, moist, delicious. Look at that. So good. Thank you so much for watching that video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like, share, and let me know in the comment section what you like to see I prepare next. Don't forget to hit that good old notification bell so you'll be one of the first person to be notified when I upload another video. Bye for now.